We're back with more on the FBI investigation into San Bernardino. I uh, want to go, go out to you, General, for a moment here because uh, also a very alarming news uh, out of uh, Minneapolis. Uh, a, a, a young, I think American born uh, a kid, and I say kid in his 20s, but he was considered the uh, a mayor, if you will, under investigation, admittedly told his friends he knew he was, but actively recruiting and actually paying for, for fellow citizens or, or Somali expats to go overseas and fight with ISIS. Now, there was going to be a bill, and there may be a bill introduced, Representative Charles Dent. And, and, and at some point, when do we say, hey, th these guys are not the JV team. They're an amazing, extraordinary uh, foe. Uh, they, 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 they can hit us on a battlefield abroad. They hit us at home. When do we change the laws, or how do we get the American public behind the notion of at least making people pay for turning on America? Well, <clears throat> we've got to do it quickly, Charles. Uh, this was a recruiting team. The emir, uh, as he was called, was really recruiting people to get over there. And he wasn't uh, going to be a suicide bomber himself or a fighter. He was in the recruiting business. And uh, we need to identify those people, handle them appropriately. And we've got to have laws that allow us to do it, as we talked about it in the first segment, of they are aiding and abetting the enemy, which is treason. And we need to handle the, that and execute those kind of laws on them and be very effective and efficient on it. We can no longer look the other way and say, well, he wasn't quite. We've got to take action now. Peter Orisi, uh, he was a recruiter and, uh, you know, he's paying, he paying out money. He was arranging flights. And that, you know, this is an expensive operation. We learned today that uh, ISIS may have extracted up to a billion dollars out of Syria alone. This, that means it's got to be some sort of banking mechanism attached to this. You just don't walk around with a billion dollars. Why aren't we going after the money? Why aren't we trying to find out where it is? And, and are you afraid that once we do, ultimately, we'll find out that some Western banks might be involved? Well, I, I, I think it's important to recognize that ISIS gets its money and Al-Qaeda gets its money from so many different sources. It's not just oil. And there are so many ways of moving money around the globe these days. You know, these, these apps that people have to do person-to-person -person transfers and access bank accounts and so forth, they can be used and are used for good purposes. They also can be used for terrible purposes. Are banks, good banks, involved? Likely, yes. Are they aware? Right. Probably not. Right. Why? Because look at what happened. It, it didn't take a great deal of money to send these Somalians mm -hmm. back to Syria. It didn't take a great deal of money to well, have this terrible San Bernardino. Right. I'm, I'm with you, Peter, but the thing is, though, it does take some money uh, and we right. also learned that they use Bitcoin, maybe as much as $3 million in Bitcoin to fund go. the Paris attacks.